This is video of Winston the Chameleon. Bought him at a place for pets in Burien. They took really, really good care of him. He's in great shape. He's about eight months old, they told me. Looks like he's a little bit over a foot, head to tail. Have him in a uh, screen cage that I made. Uh, pretty rudimentary, but it uh, does the job. Uh, strung manila rope. Two different thicknesses uh, all over the place. Have some artificial vines. Uh, pothos plant, which I deplanted, uh, washed all the leaves off twice, washed and rinsed, uh, cleaned all the roots, replanted in organic potting soil. Uh, and then I put a bunch of rocks uh, in between the top of the pot and the potting soil to make it difficult for him to get to it. But he will eat the plant. We are eventually going to fill this space in here with a, some sort of a ficus or maybe a hibiscus or something else that's chameleon friendly. He's just loving the mesh. He was pink when I brought him home. Took about 30 minutes on the freeway. He's not happy about the ride. Turn red or pink when they get mad. And he had to ride in this where the crickets are. And all he had to climb on was this little artificial plant and the water drip catch for the uh, for the plant. Um, yeah, he was not happy. But you see I have one synthetic vine here. And like that's where that thermometer is, that's his hot spot back there. Looks like it's just about the right temperature in that corner. And then we have a really noisy waterfall, which may have to uh, change at some point. But it, it works for now. I don't really think we need it to keep the humidity up, but... Yeah, and you can see that he has all sorts of vines, vine-like substances to crawl on. He's got a good plant there. Uh, the synthetic plant is just in for now. If we get another tree, I might pull it out just in case he feels a desire to eat some of it. I don't think he will, but you never know. And then the bottom of uh, the cage is actually like a chalk, chalk type board. It's black underneath. And then this sitting on top, this probably looks white but it's light gray is a PVC uh, board and it's quarter inch thick it's really good stuff I haven't seen him walk on it yet but for right now I'm not planning on covering it uh, if you can walk on it okay and hunt on it okay then I don't I don't see the point in, in covering it but uh, you know we'll figure that out as we go but there he is He's been moving around quite a bit. This is as still as he's been in the last 20 minutes or so. He uh, he was so anxious to get out of his little container from the ride home that he just took off like a bat out of hell. He was climbing everywhere, but he uh, he's not really taking any time in the hot spot yet. But it is pretty warm out, so... Yeah, I'm literally looking forward to getting a, another plant, setting this cage up. Maybe this pothos will spread its vines around some of the manila rope. Get really pretty in here. I think he's really enjoying himself so far. It's uh, three feet wide. So from here here that's three feet it's four feet tall and uh, two feet deep yeah and then our lighting arrangement is UVB for reptiles it's a 36 inch and then we have our black heat lamp which is nice because I can leave it on at night I'll just turn it down so it's you know cooler but uh, that way it won't be bright. You can use a normal incandescent bulb. This uh, this fixture we have here uh, is dimmable. It has a resistor built into it, so we can turn it down. We can leave it on at night and just turn it down. 
I'll try that and see how it goes. Um, then we got all of our crickets here, which we'll share with uh, Gladys the tarantula. Right now I've got her sitting on the windowsill right next to him. I don't, I'll keep an eye on him. I don't know if that's going to upset him. I know they don't like living next to other chameleons. I don't know if that extends to uh, large spiders or not. I don't know if he'll care, but if he starts to get bugged, I'll have to move her to a different part of the apartment. Oh, good. Sounds like the uh, pump quieted down. Must have had some air in it. Finally bled it out. Sorry, I'm kind of reaching around a corner, so it's hard to get a good view. He's a veiled chameleon, male. You can't tell by the name Winston. You can tell by his coloring and then his stripes and then the cask, the height of the cask on his head. That's that part right there sticking out. But he's kind of like a little dinosaur. Pretty fun to watch him. He seems to like that side of the cage a lot today. Or at least for the moment, probably because that's where the natural light's coming through the window. Um, yeah. But he's our first lizard. Read a lot. I have thermometer there, thermometer, and uh, hygrometer down there. And that. And it's pretty much that. If he starts to get more active, maybe I'll make another video. And certainly I'll have to make a video if we feed him.